Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are going to talk about Leslie Lawson, also known as Twiggy. Twiggy was a very successful and popular model in the second half of the 1960s. In fact, she was one of the first supermodels, women that were very popular and very famous just for their modeling work. She became famous after a hairstylist to the stars cut her hair short to try out a new hairstyle that he was developing. He got a couple of photos taken of her and someone discovered those photos and she was then dubbed the face of 1966. And this was published in a big newspaper in London and that's kind of when her fame started. Suddenly everyone wanted her for their campaigns. Her look was very iconic and unique and very representative of the 60s. She had a very thin kind of boyish frame. That's why her nickname was Twiggy. And her short hair and large eyes made for a very typical look. And she also had a very iconic makeup look that helped kind of enhance this unique look of hers. So after 1970, she quit full-time modeling. As she said herself, nobody wants to be a clothes hanger for their entire life. and. From that point onward, she focused on acting, presenting and making music. Later, she even developed a clothing line and I believe she is still modeling up until this day. She is still very gorgeous. My gosh, this woman is gorgeous. So I think we can all agree that Twiggy is a true beauty beacon. So today I'm going to try and recreate her look from the 60s, that iconic look that we know from all the pictures where she's looking into the camera. <laughs> so, um, Let's begin with the makeup. Twiggy's look has kind of become the synonym for 60s makeup when we look back now, but it wasn't actually the typical 60s makeup. Twiggy did pick up some of the trends, but her look was very much unique. She had those drawn on lower eyelashes, which nobody else did. That was really just her thing. And of course she had the short hair when actually the high big beehives were in fashion. So for the makeup, I'm going to start with a nice thick base of foundation. We want the skin to be perfect and matte. So I'm going to apply quite a layer of that and then just apply a little bit more concealer to conceal my dark circles. When that is all done and blended out, I'm going to go over with a translucent powder to set everything and mattify my face. Okay, so let's get started with the eye makeup. There are a couple of things that make Twiggy's eye makeup be recognizable as Twiggy's eye makeup and one of those is the typical cut crease that she does. So I'm going to start by trying to map that out with a brown eyeshadow um, just to kind of get the right shape and see where it needs to be on my eyes and I am going to draw this a little bit outside of my own crease. She had hers a little bit outside of hers as well but I'm going to draw mine a little bit more outside my own crease just to make my eyes look a little bit larger and more like hers. So you just want to follow the line of your crease just a little bit outside it and make a nice round kind of arch shape. And then it's time to start deepening this up. So I'm going over with smaller brushes and layers of brown and black eyeshadow to kind of create that perfect cut crease look. So when I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to fill in my eyelid with a very light skin colored eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply this underneath my eyebrow and underneath that cut crease that I just created. And this is going to form a nice light base. And then I'm going to take a blue eyeshadow and I actually found one that matches my blouse so I decided to just use that. And I'm going to apply this on the moving parts of my eyelid and only there, I'm not going to take it into the crease. When you look at her picture you can see that this is actually the way she applied hers as well. So I may not even cover all of my eyelid, I'm pretty much just making a thick band above my lash line with this. And it's alright if it's not very pigmented because she wore a lot of pastels on her eyes. Time for the eyeliner. I am going to take a felt tip liquid eyeliner. This is makes for the easiest application for what we're about to do. And I'm going to start by drawing a line on my top lash line. I'm going to make this a very round shape. So I'm going to make sure the highest point of my eyeliner is in the center of my eye. And of course making sure not to wing this out this time. So when the eyeliner is done, I am going to draw on my lower eyelashes. So for this, I just took a picture of Twiggy, looked at it and tried to kind of just draw my lower eyelashes the way that she did it. Um, it this is very easy to do with a felt tip eyeliner. You pretty much just draw little lines underneath your eye to simulate the look of lower eyelashes. So Twiggy herself has admitted to layering false eyelashes upon false eyelashes, sometimes even wearing three or four sets at a time. So I am going to layer just two, nothing too excessive here. <laughs> so I'm going to apply two sets of false eyelashes. And again, making sure to place them in the center of my eye. Normally I would 
pull them out towards the side a little bit more but now I want them centered to just again enhance that round eye look. So when that is done and has dried, I'm going to take a white eyeliner pencil and just line my waterline with this. Again, to make the look, eye look even larger and rounder. So for the lips, I'm going to take a nude, kind of pinky nude lip gloss and just apply this on my lips. And then the finishing touch is a orange blusher. You can see in her pictures that she wears a little kind of blotch of orange blush right here on her cheek. So I'm going to replicate that. And there is the Twiggy makeup look done. So moving on to the hair. Now there is much that I can simulate with my long hair, but a pixie cut is not one of them. So for this one, I'm going to have to cheat and just tie my hair in a bun on the back of my head. So I'm going to gather my hair into a low ponytail with a pretty deep side parting like she has. And then just twirl that into a pretty tight bun on the back of my head, pin that down with some bobby pins, and then arrange the front to look less like my hair is pulled back in a ponytail and more like Twiggy's short haircut. Which luckily her haircut does look kind of like her hair is pulled back in a ponytail, so I can get away with it pretty well. And that is the famous Twiggy look done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Beauty Beacons videos. If you have any requests for historical beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of, leave a request in the comment below. I will go through them and pick someone up for next week. So I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!